Hi guys, welcome back. So we are in Malta. We've been here actually three days now, but I just couldn't be bothered to vlog the beginning days. I just wanted to chill. We've been to the same beach these past couple days. So this is the last time that we are going to this beach. So that's why I brought you guys with me so I can show you. Today we're actually gonna do parasailing, which is so fun. I've always wanted to do it, but everyone's been like, no, I'm scared. And Janelle was like, she's not scared. So we're gonna do this today. So I'm gonna show you the beach. Obviously I'll see if I can take the camera up with me, but if not then, do they do, do they do their own they videos? Yeah, for free right. They take pictures as well. Okay. Yeah. For free. Yeah. Oh, that's lit. Okay, so you will see us up there, like little clips. But yeah, right now it's like 31 degrees. We're sweating our balls off. My upper lip is finished. But our accommodation isn't too far from the beach, which is great. Everything is that like walking distance, like supermarket, the clubs, restaurants, everything. So our location is perfect, thanks to her. Like our accommodation, the one that we wanted, literally the day we were gonna book was just like gone. And Juliana went on a hunt and she was like, nah, I'm not letting this go. And then she literally found this found place. It. And this place was much better than the previous place. And I will show you guys when we get back in, but we were getting ready playing music and I ain't having that copyright on my channel. So yeah, one thing about Malta that is bare weird is look. So this is where you have to walk. It's like cycle lane, but for people to walk. Very, very strange. There aren't really many crossings anywhere. Like you have to cross in the middle of a freaking roundabout, which is insane. But yeah, see you when we get on the beach. This is a little, ooh, yeah. Thanks, <laughs> shopping center, right. Look at the road, this is actually up and Juliana just saved me from breaking my ankle. I always forget, they look the exact same. But yeah, this is a shopping centre, which is very, very close and very local to It's not that, that huge, but it's big enough, to be honest. Some butt. <laughs> and then up there is the strip of like all the clubs. And this is the beach. Let's go to the beach. Each, let's go get away. They say what they're gonna say, have a drink, clink, clink. Um, but yeah, we were staying in uh, the like little private section that I'll show you when we probably leave for like two, three days. But it's like we've rinsed it and it's like 30 euros a day, but you get food and drinks that you need to use that 30 euros for basically. So now we're actually gonna go to the shop because we want to buy some lilos because we're big fat children and we need to buy an umbrella because we're not trying to kill ourselves in the sun all day with no shade. So let's see how that goes. So we got our lilos. I got neon, she got orange. Of course. And we are gonna jump in the water straight away. I'm not even gonna lie, we are sweating our it's boobs off. Yes, indeed. So the umbrella was like five euros, which is quite cheap. Each sunbed is five each as well. But it kind of doesn't make sense if you're gonna like spend the whole day here and eat and la la la, because I feel like the other place would come to cheaper because you're probably gonna spend 15 euros on food and drinks throughout the day anyway. So that's a bit of shout in general, in my opinion. But yeah, we're gonna get naked and see you on the sea. Let's go into the water. <laughs> so obviously we can swim, but we just wanted lilos because it's really hot and we came so late today. Because we. Oh, it's like a mix of like trying to live your best life, like do a lot because you're on holiday and of just coming here and getting enough sleep and like relaxing properly. You're always in like two minds about which angle to go with a holiday. So yeah, we took Lilo's because it's like midday and it's going to be way too hot just to sit in the sand. <laughs> Are you all right? <laughs> well, at least you can swim. <laughs> I can't get on it. <laughs> I did it. Can you hold the camera? Oh god. Because I ain't trying to drop it to get on this line. Yeah, trust you, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at how she's paddling. <laughs> Here, hold this. Alright. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come back, guys. 
Bro, what the fuck? Did you put one leg on the first? Yeah. Ride it. Bro, where? <laughs> and I'm riding like a rodeo. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Okay, We all are lilas! Yay! So we're probably gonna be on these all day. And then around 3, 4, we're gonna go parasailing! Because it's way too hot to do it midday. We'd just be there, like, get us away from the sun. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But yeah, so this beach is St. Julian's Bay Beach. Nice clear waters. I would say Malta is kind of expensive. Maybe it's because I'm comparing it to Turkey, which was dirty cheap. But we did a big food shop and it was like London prices, which we were really surprised about. But it is what it is. Some things are cheaper, some things aren't. Um, but yeah, overall, it is a really nice place. And I'm glad that we chose Malta. You guys just missed us, like, <laughs> trying to get on the Lilo. Padding, padding wise. So now we're gonna sit like this and just stay in. Where I'm about to take off my shirt and hand properly. Yeah. I think we're just gonna stay here all day. <laughs> no, no, we're doing. So yeah, that's us. Where's she at? There she is. So that's where we're gonna go to do the parasailing. Do you know the best float in London life? But yeah, we can't wait. I feel like, I'm not gonna lie, this is the best way to tan because whenever you're hot, you can just jump in the water, cool down you don't really have to worry about something So we are done with the beach Yeah, I always can't bother to like, make them small because then we're just gonna have to blow them up for tomorrow so we're just gonna leave them like this and we are heading to the place where we're gonna do parasailing which is very, very exciting I kinda don't know where it is so We've left the beach half an hour early. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it today. If we don't get the chance to do it today, like we're too late or it's too full, then we are definitely doing it tomorrow. We've got another day where we're kind of free because every day we've planned like an activity to do kind of thing. So yeah, let's hope we can do it today. So we didn't get to do parasailing today because it was all full so we're going to do it tomorrow in the morning but I am going to show you the flat now. So this is the corridor and then the first one is Juliana's room. Huge ass bed, loads of storage, wardrobe storage, it's just perfect. Like I couldn't have asked for a better room and then we have the beautiful bathroom. I love the bathroom, it is beautiful. Just the color combos, everything about it. I would say it is my favorite section. The whole, the whole flat is my favorite section, honestly. It is so beautiful. And we actually thought that we were gonna get catfish, and we didn't, so we're very, very happy. Because it was like, when we saw the images, we were like, this looks a bit too good to be true, but it's not. And then let's go to my room. Let's switch on the light. Storage here, all the way across. Some beds, you've got little shelves there and here. And very, very useful. I don't have as much stuff as Juliana, like the desk, the drawers, but I'm fine with it. And then all this space here. And it's my little suitcase and my lights. Obviously, because the content don't start just because I'm abroad. And then the living room, which is really, really beautiful. It's huge. Two bins. Fridge, which not much in it, but yeah, fridge. Freezer, you've got an oven, you've got a microwave. Uh, they provide plates for you. Cutlery. This is one thing that I love with Airbnbs. Um, very, very cute. 
you have an electric hob, kettle for tea. English people love tea. We're from London, so you know what I'm saying. Toaster. You even have a freaking dishwasher. Uh, if I could open it. Yep. Um, I did some dishes today. A little fruit. Big old sofa, big fat TV, our Lilo's, we just came home, so we've put it there. And aircon in every room. So there's aircon in the living room, in Juliana's room, in my room. And we also have a balcony. It's not great views, but it's nice. It doesn't face the sun, so it's great. And then they gave us this to hang our stuff. We also have a washing machine and a tumble dryer which is just sick it's like everything you need is in here so yeah that's the crib the part-time crib for now honestly when i think about like i'm moving out this is the kind of space i would love but london's expensive as shit i am definitely thinking about getting a yard abroad like a flat abroad like i would love a flat like this abroad that would be so banging where all my family can go my friends can go whenever they just want to get away Whatever time in the year that they've got free time, I would love a yard like this. It is very, very nice. But yeah, I'm going to end my vlog here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.